Hi, this is Stephen Brower from Merritt Valley Community College. Uh, this is for CSIT 256 Computer Architecture and Assembly Language, and this is an overview of Irvine Chapter 1. Um, and portions of Irvine Chapter 1 overlap with Stallings Chapter 9 and Stallings Chapter 11. I'll point those out as we go along. Uh, the beginning of the chapter talks about why we're uh, learning assembly language. Um, and in a practicality, the practical part of it, device drivers. There are aspects of device drivers. Now, many device drivers are written in C. C allows you to actually embed um, assembly language inside of it. So sometimes for device drivers, assembly language is needed. Um, for companies that manufacture devices, including game controllers, um, need assembly language for dealing with those. Um, so we'll, we'll take a look at, um, actually, I guess I just answered that question, didn't I? All right, so uh, we'll look at the virtual machine concept. And the idea is going from one level to another, we either can use interpreters or we can use translators. And the Microsoft Assembler is a translator that takes the assembly language and translates it into the ones and zeros that are at the instruction set level. Um, and so that's something that will be explained in a little more detail in the Irvine Chapter 1. Uh, binary representation is introduced in this chapter, which is a repeat of um, uh, Stallings Chapter 9. The addendum, now this is something that was referred to Pick, uh, as a picture in terms of Stallings Chapter 9, but I just want to point out that um, um, actually these four files that are here, um, these are addendums that are being referenced in uh, what we're working on. So the power of two and the upside down uh, long division are two ways in two, of, of going from decimal to binary. Um, we'll also look at hexadecimal. Um, and we'll look at unsigned and signed integers. Um, and there actually is one of the slides in Irvine Chapter 1 shows for 8, 16, 32, and 64 bits what the range of numbers are for the unsigned integers um, uh, in, in terms of how those are represented. Um, we will see how negative numbers are implemented in uh, binary using what's known as the twos complement. And there is an addendum for the twos complement. Um, and the, the idea behind it is, let's say we want to represent you know, negative five. Well, first we represent five. Then we apply the twos complement and we come up with negative five. Um, and the reason why the twos complement is used is whether we're, um, or when we're adding numbers, doesn't matter if we're adding positive or negative numbers. It's the same process. You start from the right, and you know you just keep moving right to left, just like we would for adding uh, any numbers. Um, okay. So the other slide that is mentioned here in the Irvine Chapter One um, shows for signed integers the ranges, and um, the emphasis on the 32-bit, the signed range uh, ranges for 32-bit uh, numbers is the same as int in Java. Um, so when we do an int in Java, it is a signed 32-bit integer. So the negative 2 billion and the positive 2 billion, that's the reason why. Um, so back in chapter 1, I made the comment that sometimes we were shielded with some things um, in terms of how the underlying computer works. Um, and sometimes we're not shielded. It's just we didn't realize that we are, we're not being shielded. Um, We'll look at logic tables in um, um, this chapter, which is a um, repeat of Stallings Chapter 11. And so this addendum here is just on creating uh, logic tables. Uh, the last thing that we'll look at are character sets. Um, now, we're in uh, what we're going to be using in assembly. We're going to be focusing on ASCII. And when we are in Java, we we're referring to Unicode. Um, well, if you have a 16-bit Unicode, 
the lower 8 bits of 16-bit Unicode is the same as 8-bit ASCII. Um, so when we do an 8-bit representation for the um, uh, capital A, um, the 8-bit representation for the capital A, those 8 bits are the same as the lower 8 bits for uh, the representation of a capital A in uh, Unicode. Um, that's enough.